Hi everyone! Today I'd like to show you guys around my campus, Tokyo Institute of Technology. This campus is located near a station called the Okayama Station, which is around 20 to 30 minutes from Shibuya. As you can see from the map, my campus is actually quite big. It's even divided into three areas, the Okayama area, Ishikawa Dai, and Midorigaoka area. First, let's go to the library. At the entrance of this library, there are these names of influential alumni crafted on the wall, which is really cool. I always think maybe someday my name can be there too. I mean, who knows, right? So, I am inside of the library. Okay, pause a little bit. Cool. So today I'm writing some uh, summary of a paper for, you know, paper discussion at my research lab tomorrow. So, yeah, pretty much almost done. Good. This is me pretending to be working. You know, typing, 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 blah, blah, blah. Okay, so while waiting for me to finish my work, I want to share to you guys a fun fact about this library. So this library is famous for its design. Can you guess what is the shape of this library like? A. A box B. A cheesecake or C. A dolphin And the answer is... Okay, drum roll, please. Dolph! Just kidding. Cheesecake! Which is still really awesome, by the way. You can see from outside, it's really iconic. Especially in spring, where the cherry blossom, you know, looks wonderful. The combination of cherry blossom and this building is really, really majestic. I mean, look at that. I mean, not me. The background. Looks like I almost finish. Oh, what am I deleting? Oh, okay. Okay, let's go. So right now I'm in front of the main building. Yeah, that's the main building, which is the most, I think it's the most uh, uh, iconic building in this campus. Oh, so hot. So the cafeteria is in the main building. So we're going this way. I think I need to run. So I'm inside of the main building now and it's a lot cooler here, of course. So the cafeteria is on the... B1, basement one floor. So I'm going down. Fun fact about the main building is that uh, freshmen usually go here for their, for their classes, but this building is kind of confusing. There is a map, but sometimes it's really hard to find, uh, to find a classroom here. 
It's like a maze, a mysterious maze. And yeah, we also have many, many research labs in this building, but I don't really know them. Yeah. So right now we're at the cafeteria, but unfortunately it's closed. I don't know where to go. Maybe let's just go to 7-Eleven. We have like a 7-Eleven inside of the campus where you can also get your lunch, your bento. Okay, let's go there. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty starving now. Apparently, 7-Eleven is also closed. Oh my god. My next hope is Family Mart or like some restaurant nearby. But I still have another thing to do. So I need to print something out. And I'm going to the computer lab. Actually, I don't remember where it is. Third floor. Yeah, here you can pretty much print maximum 200 pages per year. But I never really used it. Because, you know, I've been working and studying from home. Oh God, don't tell me it's closed. There's literally no one here, so I'm just gonna turn on. Ouch! Sorry. I'm just gonna turn on the light. See, we have this separators between the between the computers. Oh, careful! Okay. Every student can have their their own account to log in so we have an access to every i mean not every to any computer at the library or at this uh, at this like computer lab yeah i can see my old documents here this class is from 20, 2021 last year oh my god that was the last time i used this computer we're now at the printing room. So this is the printer. It's in Japanese. So just finished printing. Now I think I want to show you guys around the campus. Okay, let's go. I'm at the gymnasium right now and usually there is there are some students playing basketball, volleyball and badminton but today it's it's empty. So I guess let's just go outside. There is also a swimming pool upstairs, but I can't enter the swimming pool, enter the room because I don't have the ticket. Okay, so let's go. So the last thing I want to show you guys is the student center. I usually come here to obtain or submit documents such as transcripts or scholarship applications. 
It also has a collaboration space where students hold various events and activities. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!